How often do you think about your heart health? Are you aware of the risks of cardiovascular disease? Well, let's dive into the heart of the matter. Cardiovascular diseases, encompassing coronary heart disease and stroke, claim the top spot as the leading cause of death in the United States. Particularly at risk are Blacks and Hispanics in underserved communities. It's a sobering reality, isn't it? But there's good news. Cardiovascular disease is largely preventable. Stay tuned to learn how you can keep your heart beating strong. Heart Smarts, a health program, is here to empower you to live a heart-healthy lifestyle. This program is not just about information, but about transformation. It offers a comprehensive approach to help you understand and achieve heart health. Heart Smarts is committed to reducing the incidence of cardiovascular disease, the leading cause of death in the United States. The program focuses on underserved communities where the risk of heart disease and stroke is greatest. Through education and empowerment, HeartSmarts aims to turn the tide on these statistics. It's a call to action, a call to change, a call to live healthier, longer lives. HeartSmarts is about arming you with the knowledge and tools you need to make HeartSmart choices every day. It's about the power of prevention and the promise of a healthier future. Remember, HeartSmarts is not just a program, it's a life-changing journey. It's about taking control of your health, one heartbeat at a time. But don't just take our word for it. Listen to these stories from people who have benefited from heart smarts. Imagine being told you're at risk for heart disease, a leading cause of death in the United States. Now picture having the knowledge and tools to combat that risk head on. For people like Maria, a single mother from an underserved community, heart smarts was a beacon of hope. The program informed decisions about her heart health, ultimately, ultimately, reducing her risk of cardiovascular diseases and then there's John, a middle-aged man who was once a prisoner of his poor lifestyle choices. For him, Heart Smarts was not just a program, but a lifesaver. It opened his eyes to the risks he was taking and gave him the push he needed to commit to a healthier lifestyle. These are not just testimonials. They are life-changing stories. Stories of empowerment, resilience, and triumph over heart disease. These are real stories from real people who have seen the impact of heart smarts in their lives. Are you ready to be the next success story? Your heart health is in your hands, and with heart smarts, you have the power to make a difference. It's time to take that first step towards a healthier lifestyle, a step that could redefine your future. Heart smarts is not just an ally, it's a beacon, guiding you to make informed decisions for your heart health. So why wait? The path to a healthier heart is just a click away. You'll find the link to Heart Smarts right down in the description below. Start your journey towards a healthier heart today with Heart Smarts. Have you ever wondered how much a man can change when he's forced to confront the harsh realities of life at a tender age? Today, let's dive into the world of Full Metal Alchemist and explore one of its most compelling characters, Edward Elric. Edward Elric, often known as the Full Metal Alchemist, is a child prodigy in the mystical science of alchemy. His story is a poignant one, marked by loss, resilience, and an unwavering determination. As a young boy, Edward loses his mother to an illness. This loss, which strikes at the very core of his existence, kindles in him a desperate desire to defy the laws of nature and bring his mother back to life. Together with his younger brother, Alphonse, Edward embarks on a perilous journey into the forbidden realm of human transmutation, an alchemical process that promises to resurrect the dead. However, this reckless venture ends in disaster. Edward loses his left leg and right arm in the process, while Alphonse loses his entire body. But it is in this moment of despair that Edward's true character shines through. Fueled by guilt and a fierce love for his brother, Edward sacrifices his right arm to affix Alphonse's soul to a suit of armor, ensuring his brother's survival. This act of sacrifice marks the beginning of Edward's transformation from a naive child to a young man burdened by the weight of his choices. Faced with the consequences of his actions, Edward makes a solemn vow to restore Alphonse's body. With a new resolve, he becomes a state alchemist a position that grants him access to resources and information that could aid in his quest. This decision, however, is not without its challenges, and Edward must navigate the treacherous waters of politics and power. Edward's journey is one of redemption, sacrifice, and relentless pursuit of his goals. 
His story is a stark reminder that the road to atonement is not easy, but it is through this struggle that true character is revealed. Edward Elric, thus, is not just a character, but a symbol of resilience and unyielding determination. His journey is far from over, and there's much more to his story that we'll be exploring in the coming scenes. How does guilt shape a person's life? This is a question that is central to understanding Edward Elric's early development. Edward is a character who carries a heavy burden of guilt. His guilt originates from a failed alchemical experiment that resulted in the loss of his brother Alphonse's body and his own left leg. This guilt becomes a driving force in Edward's life, fueling his determination to restore his brother's body, no matter the cost. Edward's guilt is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it motivates him, pushing him to achieve his goals. But on the other, it fuels an anger that is often directed towards himself and the world around him. This anger manifests as a defiant, stubborn personality. Edward is not one to back down from a challenge, and he often clashes with those who stand in his way. His guilt and anger also lead him to a controversial decision, becoming a state alchemist. In the world of Full Metal Alchemist, becoming a state alchemist is akin to selling one's soul to the military. It's a decision that is met with disdain and suspicion by many, including Edward's own mentor. But for Edward, it's a necessary step in his quest to restore Alphonse's body. Becoming a state alchemist also exposes Edward to the harsh realities of the world. He witnesses the atrocities committed by the military and grapples with the ethical implications of his own actions. This exposure hardens him, making him more cynical and jaded. But it also strengthens his resolve to protect those he cares about. Edward's guilt and anger shape his early development, driving him towards a path filled with danger and uncertainty. This path will test Edward in ways he could never have imagined, pushing him to his limits and forcing him to confront the darkest aspects of his own soul. But through it all, his guilt and determination remain constant, shaping him into the character we know and love. Can hardship and suffering truly transform a person? That's the question that Edward Elric's journey as a state alchemist in Hiromu Arakawa's Full Metal Alchemist seeks to answer. As he embarks on this path, Edward faces countless challenges. The world he steps into as a state alchemist is one fraught with political intrigue, dangerous enemies, and moral ambiguities. It's a world where the line between right and wrong often blurs, leaving Edward in a constant struggle to maintain his moral compass. In this tumultuous journey, Edward encounters numerous hardships. From battling the deadly homunculi to uncovering the dark secrets of the Philosopher's Stone, he is constantly thrown into situations that test his mettle. Each battle is a grueling ordeal, pushing Edward to his physical and emotional limits. But it's not just the physical battles that shape Edward. The moral dilemmas he faces play an equally important role in his transformation. He grapples with questions of life and death, of what it means to be human, of the true cost of power. These questions shake him to his core, forcing him to question his beliefs and principles. Yet it's through these hardships that Edward begins to change. The once brash and hot-headed boy gradually becomes more empathetic and understanding. He learns to see the world from different perspectives, to empathize with his enemies, to understand their pain and struggles. It's a difficult change, one that comes with its share of pain and heartache. And yet, these experiences also harden Edward. He becomes more determined, more resolute. He realizes that the world isn't just black and white, that sometimes difficult choices have to be made. And he's willing to make those choices, to do what needs to be done, no matter how hard it may be. Edward's journey forces him to grow and evolve, molding him into an individual of strong character and unyielding resolve. His transformation is a testament to the power of hardship and suffering, a testament to the power of the human spirit to endure, to adapt, and to overcome. What does it mean to make the ultimate sacrifice? This is a question that finds its answer in Edward Elric's final transformation. As we traverse the path of Edward's journey, we reach a crucial point where he uncovers the unsettling truth behind the Philosopher's Stone. It's a revelation that shakes him to his core, forcing him to grapple with the harsh realities of his world. The Philosopher's Stone, the object of his relentless pursuit, is not the panacea he had hoped for. It's a product of unimaginable horrors, a symbol of the exploitation of countless innocent lives. His dream of restoring his brother Alphonse's body, it seems, comes with a price too steep to pay. 
But Edward, our young protagonist, is not the same impulsive boy we met in the beginning. He's matured through his experiences, learned from his mistakes, and grown in ways that have prepared him for this very moment. He doesn't falter, doesn't let his desperation cloud his judgment, doesn't succumb to the allure of a quick fix. Instead, he makes a choice, a choice that testifies to his courage and selflessness. He decides not to use the Philosopher's Stone, but the story doesn't end there, does it? Edward's ultimate transformation comes when he sacrifices his very ability to perform alchemy to save Alphonse. He gives up the one thing that has defined him, the one thing that has been both his weapon and his crutch. This sacrifice is the culmination of his journey, a testament to his evolution from a reckless, determined boy to a mature, selfless young man. This final act is not just about Edward's selflessness, but also about his love. His love for his brother, his love for the people who have become his family, his love for the world that, despite its imperfections, is a world worth fighting for. It's a love that has guided him, shaped him, and ultimately transformed him. In his final act of selflessness, Edward proves that he has truly come of age, embodying the very essence of sacrifice and love. So who is Edward Elric, really? Edward Elric is more than just the protagonist of Hiromu Arakawa's Full Metal Alchemist. He is a symbol of perseverance, a testament to the indomitable human spirit, and a beacon of hope in a world often shrouded in despair. From the very beginning, Edward was a character marked by guilt and anger. He was a child who had lost his innocence too early, burdened by the weight of a mistake that cost him and his brother their bodies. He was a boy consumed by a desperate need to right a wrong, willing to go to any lengths to restore what was lost. But Edward was also a determined young man. He was not one to be easily defeated. Despite the trials and tribulations he faced, he never gave up. This tenacity, this unyielding spirit is what made him a hero. No matter how insurmountable the odds, Edward always found a way to press on. However, Edward's journey was not just about determination. It was also about love and sacrifice. He loved his brother Alphonse more than anything in the world, and he was willing to give up everything for him. This capacity for love and sacrifice is what allowed Edward to grow and mature from a guilt-ridden child into a selfless young man. Edward Elric has left an indelible mark in the anime world. His character resonates with viewers because of his humanity. He is flawed, he makes mistakes, but he learns from them. He embodies the struggles and triumphs that we all experience in life. In summary, Edward Elric is not just a character. He is a symbol of hope, a beacon of resilience, and a testament to the power of human spirit. His journey is a poignant reminder of the strength that lies within us all, the potential for growth that adversity brings, and the transformative power of love and sacrifice. Edward Elric's journey is a testament to the power of determination, the value of sacrifice,